Hello foodies, welcome to Foodland. Ganesh festival is right around the corner and I have made Kesher Modak or you can say Saffron Modak. You can also make Kesher Peda with this. So let's get started with the recipe. Stay tuned for the ingredients. Okay, but real quick, if you like my channel, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get future recipes notification thank you all right so this is one cup of milk powder half a cup of milk and one fourth cup of sugar also i have taken few saffron saffron strands and added in the warm water and this is pure ghee i'm going to use three tablespoons in a pan and Add all the ingredients and mix it well. I'm not going to turn the gas on yet. Just going to add one fourth cup right now and two to three tablespoons of ghee. Let's give it a good mix and make it lumpy and then we will cook it on the gas I have added one more one fourth cup of milk so total half a cup of milk here to get this kind of consistency cook this for a minute or so and start mixing this well make sure there are no lumps Keep stirring until it starts losing out some ghee and starts forming a dough. As you can see, milk is slowly started evaporating and this will this will thicken and form in a dough shape very soon. I'm stirring this for about four minutes or so now. Just keep stirring on a medium high flame and. At this point, I have added three tablespoons of desiccated coconut. This is purely optional, but if you like that nice coconut flavor to the milk sweet, you can add that or you can totally skip this step. This also helps thicken the this mixture pretty soon. And we get that coarse texture to the metal. Stirring. Here you go. Now you can see after 10 minutes of stirring, this dough is formed. Started to getting thick a little. So let it sit for about uh, three to four minutes, and we are going to add some flavoring. As I said, um, we are uh, using saffron color or saffron water here. Okay, so I'm trying to get this dough cool off a little I added one tablespoon of pure ghee and this is my saffron water i've soaked the saffron some time back in the warm water you can use milk as well and i have cardamom powder here so let's add a small teaspoon of cardamom powder for flavoring again this is optional but if you want you can add it just to give that beautiful flavor and going to pour about one to two tablespoons of this saffron milk or saffron water and I'm going to mix it with the ghee and make a nice soft dough like this it is still a little hot to touch so just be careful I'm just trying to get the soft dough and get all the flavors together. Yes, we can do uh, this mithai. So I made this peda or uh, barfi, and this is like a modak shape. Since Ganesh festival is coming, uh, I made it. It's a modak shape. So this is my modak patra. I have applied some ghee on all the sides of it, and 
get like mini small size ball just close it and we're basically going to stuff it right so you just add that and press it make sure it is closed so that it doesn't escape just try to press it so that it goes down just like so and press it from all the sides so that we get that nice shape all right so now open and look at this beautiful gorgeous small size modok so now as you can see the excess part and simply cut it with the knife or just remove it such a beautiful gorgeous small little modok now you can also decorate this with some dry fruits i have this um, uh, milk masala and there are some pistachios or maybe since it's a kesher flavor i'm just going to try to grab kesher strand and just add it on the top just like so just for the decoration so just so we know that it is basically a kesher barfi or kesher mode of so I'm using this one more strand here Share your feedback and comment in the comment box. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.